25 cardinals, 200 bishops and over 3,000 priests. Five days after he died, thousands gathered to bid farewell to Pope Benedict. Tolling bells kicked off the funeral service as Pope Benedict's coffin was carried to St. Peter's Square. The coffin was in a ritual closed on Wednesday evening and the liturgical vestment he won, coins and medals minted during his pontificate and a biography of his life placed inside the casket. It was a historic event. The first time in 221 years, a reigning pope presided over the funeral of a predecessor. The last time was in 1802, when Pius VII led the service for Pius VI, whose remains were transferred to Rome after he died in 1799 in exile in France. Pope Francis presided over the Requiem Mass and delivered the homily which he read while sitting before the altar in an occasion characterized by simplicity according to Pope Benedict's wishes. Benedict, the 265th Pope of the Catholic Church, who was elected Pope in April 2005, was the first Pope in close to six centuries to resign as Pope as opposed to Vatican norm where pontiffs hold office for life. He died on New Year's Eve, aged 95, close to 10 years after he stepped down, citing ill health. Predecessor. After the Mass, Pope Francis, who sat for most of the service, stood before Benedict's coffin, bowed and touched the casket before it was transported through St. Peter's Basilica and to the Vatican crypt in the former tomb of Pope John Paul II. The tomb was vacated after John Paul II became a saint and his body and remains were moved to a chapel inside the basilica. In the traditional triple casket, Pope Benedict's coffin encased in zinc before being sealed in a second wooden casket was placed in his final resting place underneath St. Peter's Basilica where 90 popes have been laid to rest. Rita Tinina, KT News. Back in the country, a health reforms task force established by Nairobi City County Governor Johnson Sakai.